Hello, welcome to this video on how to weave a floating weft on a fabric in a wiggly line. I'll show you how I wove this fabric with the floating line to create some mark making on your fabric. This is a beginner's tutorial, you can use any loom you'd like, it's just a plain weave with the added lines in it. If you've just got a rigid header loom like this one then you can still do this pattern because it just needs plain weave you can use any yarn you'd like I'll show you what warp I went for and I'll take you through the weaving process so the yarn I used for this weave was this wool, just plain white wool I also used some of this kind of oatmeal colour wool and for the warp it also has this brown hemp yarn and this natural linen yarn I get most of my yarns from Uppingham Yarns in the UK or various other shops that I'll link in the description if you're interested in where I get my yarns so the warp is two different yarns going with one hemp yarn and one linen yarn and I'll show you first how I made this warp So what I'm doing here is I'm just weaving with two different types of yarn together, got them both on the bobbin and then, so that's just a plain weave and then I'm going in with this naturally dyed red yarn. This wool is available on my website. I hand dye it with natural madder root extract. And so for this, you can see my warp is two different colours, hemp and a linen. This is what it looks like on the back. And I just have it threaded up on eight shafts and I'm just doing a plain weave. So to do this red line, I'm just going to weave it in. So I'll go from underneath and then I'll go on top.
And then I'll just do this one. And then change to the other shafts. And then there you have it. And then I'm going to do a few more rows of plain weave. So now I'm going to put in another red line, just going to weave it in just here. Now you have your next one, and then you can keep going and keep the line going for as long as you like. You can cut it off and add bits in. And I'll show you what it looks like with some over here. This is the hemp yarn, it's really good to use, it's really fine and textured. And then the naturally dyed wool is a DK. Is a double knit size yarn and it's really good for adding some nice colour to your design in a sustainable way. So I'm just going to tuck this last bit behind and that's that line done and now I'm going to do another one on this side.
how you get through the back. And then you just come out here. Now I'll take you through the other colour combinations that I'm going to weave with the same line running down it. So these are the fabrics that I made. This is the red one. And this is how it turned out. This is the back of it. And then this is the grey one.
So I'm going to sew some of these together and make some cushions out of them. And but they would work really nice as a scarf or fabric for a garment. So subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tutorials on weaving. If you have any questions leave a comment below or if you have any suggestions for any other techniques you'd like to know about. And in my next video I'm going to be weaving some waffle pattern using 4 shafts or maybe 8 shafts. So stick around for that one if you're interested in waffle patterns. I'll be using some of this yarn, this mohair yarn and some other combinations so I'll be making the warp for that one next. And if you'd like to see any more of my work you can look at my website, the link's in the description. Thanks for watching. Mm.